Today we're going to be making some home decor using some wrapping paper and you are not going to want to miss these because they came out absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and jump in. We'll just jump right in nice and easy, super quick. I don't like to have such long intros. We'll just jump right into it, right? Um, so this is the wrapping paper I'm going to be using. This is super beautiful, my friend. Um, this one is a custom wrapping paper and I'm going to be using, uh, putting them on Dollar Tree items that you can find at Dollar Tree. So it's a win-win here. So for this first one, I have this long, um, scrap wood piece that you can find at Dollar Tree and I'm going to cover it in this beautiful wrapping paper. I love the colors and the holly berries on it. So I'm just going to take my pencil and kind of trace where I want, um, you know, where I need to cut and then I'm going to simply cut it with my scissors and we're going to place this onto the wood piece using some Mod Podge. Um, you want to make sure you get a nice layer on there so that it's nice and stuck and make sure you get it on those corners Those corners get a little bit tricky to place down the Mod Podge and stick down um, So yeah, you just want to make sure you get a nice layer and then we'll go ahead and place our paper down nice and slowly And you can um, you do have wiggle room and you know for extra time if you need to peel it back up in case you misplaced it wrong or something like that as you can see there i did peel it back up and just fixed it and it's completely fine and just you just want to um go nice and slowly pushing it down and i do like to use a straight edge of some kind i use my cricut tool just to really scrape it down and make sure there's no bubbles underneath and then of course we're going to take our sand block or sandpaper and sand down all around the edges you do not want to skip this step just take the extra 30 seconds and sand it down really quickly because it really does make all the difference you can see all of that excess paper that was hanging off of there and it just makes your piece look really nice and finished so once i get it nice and sanded i do have this smaller piece of scrap wood from dollar tree and this is the perfect size um for this piece in specific because i want to make kind of a little shelf down at the bottom of this other wood plank and you can see it just fits perfectly so i want to lay it down with some e6000 and hot glue i want to make sure this is nice and strong if you have wood glue on hand you can use that as well um, so I'm going to add the E6000 to the center and add my hot glue to both of the sides and then I'm going to press it down really nice and firmly and of course you can see that I did paint it in this beautiful deep olive green color to match the background and I got this at I believe it was Lowe's or Home Depot and this is just regular home paint. I love to use home paint on my DIYs. I find that they do last longer and they're a bit more better in the quality so I just like to use it. Now here I am going around the edges of my whole entire shelf and you could have done this before but I just thought about it. I don't want those edges in that wood color. I want it to match in with the whole entire thing so I'm just going very slowly taking my time to try to get those painted all the way around and then I want to decorate my shelf a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some stuff from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna hot glue it down there I did give the top of the wrapping paper a coat of Mod Podge again just to seal it on the top and make it nice and protected so I have this snowman ornament from Dollar Tree he is super cute and I think it's the perfect size for this shelf so I'm gonna take it and place it down in the center with my hot glue gun and just press him down really nicely and um, you can place him off to the side and add maybe some trees next to him or something like that that would be super cute I didn't have any trees on hand so that's why I didn't add any but I think it would look super cute along with the snowman and then what I did was I took some of this uh, this comes in a pack of I believe six or so I'm not sure if I got it at Dollar Tree or Walmart um but these cute little frosted wreaths i thought was perfect for the top of the snowman right there on the sign so i just pressed it down with some hot glue and then i thought to take some of this little faux snow from dollar tree and i'm just taking my hot glue gun and i'm pressing some down in random spaces you don't need to you know have it perfect or anything because this is supposed to look like you know uh 
organic fall and snow and so i'm just going to pat it down onto the glue and put it in places where i think would look nice because of course you can have the snowman without the snow in the bottom i thought that was a really nice cute touch so i'm just adding it here and there and then i do add a jute string hanger to the back in case you want to hang this but it can stand up perfectly by itself um and that was it for this diy and i think it turned out absolutely gorgeous and i love it i just love um the 3d-ish look of it and i think this is super cute to hang up or stand up on its own you would have to let me know what you think Next up, we have this cute little wooden sign, of course, from Dollar Tree. It has some nice little wooden beads at the string, the hanger. And I want to give it a nice distressed coating of this white paint. I'm only putting it on the top and bottom uh, shiplap because that is where I want it to be painted. I'm going to cover the center two pieces. So I'm just going to give it a nice distress coating so it can look nice and weathered. And I'm going to do that to both the top to bottom and let that dry really well. I hope your week is going by really great for you, my friend. Let me know how has it been? What have you been up to? What are you planning to do for the weekend? If any plans. Um, and if you are new here, hi and welcome. I love new people here on my channel. I hope you do stay around a while. If you are looking for some beautiful wrapping paper for this upcoming Christmas season, holiday season, then this is the perfect time to go right now and shop these beautiful custom wrapping papers. These are absolutely beautiful. This is what I'm using today in my DIYs. And you guys, Viola Grace Shop has some beautiful custom wrapping papers. And I'm not just saying that. Honestly, I really love their paper and I've enjoyed working with it. Of course, I'm using mine for my DIYs, but you can use them for your holiday gift gift wrapping they are absolutely beautiful and have a ton of diys i mean no not diys <laughs> they have a ton of different papers to choose from different designs you can see there's just a bunch there and there's a ton more pages go over and check them out right now i do have a coupon code for you and all of that information will be in the description box below you do not want to miss out on these papers they are very good quality and i love them i'm sure you will too so i'm taking that beautiful white holiday paper with all of the nice patterns on it and this is what what i'm going to use to cover up the center of this sign so i'm just tracing where i need to cut and then i'm going to cut it down with my scissors and we're going to place that down using our mod podge again and I'm not going to cut the lines of the e each shiplap. I'm just going to completely cover it because you can still see the shiplap of the other two pieces. So I'm just going to place it down there in the middle and just try my best to get out all of the bubbles, scraping it out with my Cricut tool once again. They did also send me a fall one that had some beautiful pumpkins on it with a green background. I did use it in one of my previous videos for some fall decor. I will link that video down in the description box below in case you want to check out how I use that one. Um, but now I'm going to go in with my little knife here and I'm going to cut off those edges just because it has this uh, shape and design on the side. So it's going to be hard to sand it down. Um, so we'll just cut those down and pull them off and just sand down around the edges nice and simple so that way we can get any hanging pieces right off then you want to make sure you add another layer of mod podge on the top and that just really seals in that paper and makes it nice and protected on the top um so i do that and i let that dry really well now i want to add these beautiful frosted greenery pieces from a dollar tree pick i just clip them off and i'm gonna hot glue them down to the top of the paper and I'm going to add two pieces, one off to the both to both sides, either sides. And once I get those two on there, I do have some other frosted greenery pieces. They are slightly different in the color and the texture. So I decided to add those just to give it a nice contrast and to make it look more high end. I feel if you add different types of greenery with each other, it does give it a nice look. So I add those along next to the 
of the first ones that I put and I just add them down using my hot glue. Let me know if you've started decorating for this holiday season. I have not started decorating my home yet. I've started my DIYs but I usually don't start decorating until after Thanksgiving almost or sometimes before Thanksgiving. Uh, it depends on how I feel. Sometimes I like to um, have Thanksgiving in fall decorations and you know fall themed so depending on how i feel i might start decorating for christmas early we'll see but now i am placing down some frosted greenery these greenery leaves are just regular leaves from a dollar tree pick that i just painted from a previous diy to look like snow has fallen on it and i placed that in the center with some berries and that was it for this beautiful and easy sign that i just love i think the paper looks absolutely great on it and gives it that nice pop that it needs super simple and super pretty for this holiday season Hello, if you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really would help out my channel and I do appreciate your love and support. So give it a thumbs up right now. It'll only take three seconds. Let's jump back into the video. So next up, I have here this little scrap wood piece. You can find ones exactly similar in Dollar Tree. I did have this one on hand. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to measure out the sides of it. So that way I can cover up the sides using the green holly berry paper. Um, we're going to be making a beautiful uh, candle holder for the table in case you want to do a tablescape for your um holiday decorations this one turned out really beautiful and i love it and it's super easy to make my friends and it looks very high end as well so i cut those strips out and i'm gonna place it down using some mod podge of course and just pressing it down really nicely i do have to hold it down and keep rubbing it for a couple minutes because it does want to peel up since it is a really thin strip of the paper and the paper is slightly curved from when it was rolled up so i just have to press it down a little bit and it'll start sticking down to that mod podge you just have to let the mod podge get a little bit tacky and um it'll stick really nicely um i'm gonna do that to both of the sides and this is what that should look like now i'm gonna take this beautiful frosted berry pick from dollar tree these are really pretty and i love them so i'm gonna cut them off one by one because i want to hot glue them down onto this wood piece here but if we keep them bunched together the stem on the bottom is going to be in the way so i do like to clip them off one by one and just press those down with my hot glue and i'm going to do that to both of the sides for now if you want to get some great stuff from dollar tree for the holiday season like the best picks you can find now is the time to go right now because they are starting to put out all of their christmas stuff and right now is when they have out the most best looking stuff that you know you might want to grab and use for your diys or just for your home decor they have out the nice stuff right now before a lot of people get to them and you know they won't have them anymore um you know in the middle of november and stuff like that or beginning of december i find that you know you can find them in the beginning when they are just starting to put them out so uh yeah just a heads up and now for the candles that i'm going to be placing on here i don't have the candle holders for these candles so i'm making my own using this rope from dollar tree so i'm just wrapping it around the candle so i can get the size that i need and i'm hot gluing that rope down to the wood piece and i did add three layers of that rope just to make it tall tall enough and make it nice and tight for that candle to stick in um, so I did add the first layer and then I added hot glue on top of that one, added the second layer, added hot glue on top of the second layer, and then added one more final layer for a total of three layers. Once again, just so it can be tall enough to hold that candle nice and stuck in place. And I do it once again to the other side because I want to have two candles on here. And I just covered up the rest of the wooden piece with the rest of the frosted greenery and berries. And look how beautiful and stunning this looks and who would have thought this was made using wrapping paper 
paper it looks really good and i love it these are the three together and my friend you would have to let me know which one was your favorite from today don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up help support my channel and to help grow our community let's get to 4k subscribers our youtube family i appreciate you all each and every one of you thank you so much for spending time with me and your support don't forget you are much appreciated and loved i will see you all on the next one take care god bless bye